Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. So let's take a look at the data we have in the JSON demo table. We see we have a column named info that contains JSON data, and each row has two properties, name, which is a string, and scores, which is an array of integers. We are going to show how we can access the elements in this array and use aggregate functions to display information about the data in the array. For this demo, we want to return the name property, the highest score in the scores array, the lowest score in the scores array, and the average score in the scores array. The easiest way to get this aggregate information in MySQL is using the JSON table function. JSON table lets us treat data in an array as if it is an actual table in the database. We will jump down to the from clause in our query to review the arguments expected in JSON table. First, we specify the column that contains the JSON data. In our case, this is the info column. Next, we specify the path to the property that contains the array data. In our case, that is dollar sign dot scores. When dealing with JSON data, the dollar sign typically signifies the document's root. After we define the path to the array, we define which columns we want to have inside of our table. Each column should have a name, a data type, and a path to the value inside each element of the array. For our example, we specify the column name as score, the data type as int, and the path as dollar sign. Inside of a column definition for JSON table, the dollar sign represents the root of the element in the array. Since our array only contains integers, we only need the value at the root of each element. If this array contained objects, the path would actually be a dot delimited path to the property name we want. Lastly, we need to alias the table name. Here, we call it scores. Also, note that because we use JSON table in the from clause, it acts as if this table is joined with the JSON demo table. Going back up to the select clause, we can see we are using the JSON path operator to get the name property from the JSON in the info column. Then we use the max, min, and average functions to get the score data from the result set named scores. After executing this query, we can see that the max, min, and average scores from each person were extracted from our JSON array. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.